Hi, I'm Natalia Woodbine, and I'm a technical architect at TSG and Alfresco Company. In this video, I'll show how we can use Capture 2.0's document classification engine to efficiently process batch records as they enter Alfresco. For this demo, I'm starting with a new Capture 2.0 instance, so you'll see several rounds of feedback in which the system learns how to automatically classify batch documents and extract metadata. To start, I'll kick off a migration of the batch documents into the Alfresco Content Accelerator. These documents can come from a variety of sources, such as a monitored inbox or a shared drop folder. Now that these first batch documents are migrated into the Content Accelerator, I can see them appear in my indexing queue. I can then click to begin validating the documents, or in this case, training the system. As you can see, this first C of A has been incorrectly classified as a packing document since the classification engine had no prior data. Once I reclassified the document as a C of A, several fields are automatically indexed and I've manually indexed destination country. I'll go through the same process with the remaining documents, correcting classification and indexing any missed metadata. Now that the training phase is complete, I'll kick off another migration to ingest the next round of batch documents. Once I begin validating, you'll see that these documents are for a different batch than the ones we previously processed, but come from the same manufacturer. Therefore, we expect to see a big improvement in performance, as these will likely have a similar formatting to the previously processed batch documents. Right away, we are seeing both accurate classification and extraction of metadata as I step through and validate. One thing I see is that the goods received document has a batch release site property that didn't get indexed, so I'm making that correction now. But every other batch document was processed just as expected. Finally, I'm going to kick off one more migration which will ingest a second goods received document for this batch. Once the migration finishes, I'll navigate to the dashboard, click on the document in my queue, and as you can see, thanks to the previous user validation input, the next goods received document is indexed 100% correctly. As these batch documents are entering the system via Capture 2.0 and are validated by the user, they are collected into a batch folder based on their batch number. Once I navigate to the folder, I can see all of the batch documents and their properties, including the locational data of where they were indexed from on the document. For the final exercise, I'll migrate in a set of documents from a different manufacturer that have fairly different formats to the ones previously ingested. Once again, after they are all ingested, I will navigate to my validation queue. And as you can see, the C of A from this manufacturer was correctly classified. However, several of the properties weren't correctly indexed, so I'm adjusting those now. The next document was 100% correct the first time. I'm indexing some properties for this goods received document.
This artwork document looks good off the bat. And same with this packing specification. Same with this sampling document. So despite the difference in format, Capture did a pretty good job of classifying and extracting metadata from these batch documents. All of the feedback I gave the system now will be used to fine tune the locational extraction on the fly so that when this next round of similarly formatted documents gets ingested, we'll see even better performance in a more efficient validation process. Everything looks good so far. Clicking through, clicking through. And done. This concludes the demo of Capture 2.0's classification engine. Be sure to check our website and blog for more machine learning initiatives with Capture 2.0.